episode 560 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. For the first time, we are live on the 360 Wrestling Podcast YouTube channel for a live stream. Going to be talking about tonight's episodes of TNA Impact Wrestling and Ring of Honor on Honor Club. First live stream in a while. Hope it goes well. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Welcome, wrestling fanatics. I believe right now we are live on YouTube. I'm not sure. I haven't done this in so long. It's been quite a while since I have done a live stream. On YouTube, so I'm not sure if I'm actually live right now or not. Maybe this is live on YouTube, or maybe it's just Spreaker, because we are definitely on Spreaker right now. But I also tried to go live on YouTube as, well... The question is, is it actually going live on YouTube right now? Hate to leave you real quick with some dead air. So on Spreaker, I'm just going to take a quick break and check something real quick. Enjoy the MJF Raven Sting. Got Lex Luger autographs back there. Enjoy them just for a few seconds. Like I said, this will only be on Spreaker. But everyone watching on YouTube, I'll be right back. And I am back on Spreaker. Sorry for that short little break, but... I just wanted to see if we were going live. And... Unfortunately, we are not live right now. Like I said, it's been, I'm not sure how long exactly, but it has definitely been quite a while since I've even tried doing a live stream of Anytime. And hopefully I will be able to now. Let's see. Just a second. Looks good so far. Well, it's buffering. So, sorry for everyone watching on YouTube once again. If we ever do go live, who knows? Well, until I wait to see if we're actually going to go live on YouTube or not, let's just get right into it. 
and talk about TNA Impact on Access TV tonight. Our opening match, we had the TNA X Division champion, Chris Sabin, taking on... Excuse me, Jason Hatch. And what I thought was actually a pretty good opening match. And Chris Sabin will be defending the X Division Championship tomorrow night. TNA No Surrender on TNA Plus. And should be a pretty good match. And let's see. Finally says going live. And right now, I believe we are live. Finally, for the first time, I don't know how long. Uh, Sorry, everyone who's just tuning in to this live stream of 360 Wrestling Fanatic right now. I actually already started the podcast on Spreaker talking about tonight's TNA impact on XS TV. But it's been so long since I've done a live stream of any kind, either here on YouTube Or one of the other websites that I have tried before. I forgot how I got rusty. Didn't know what I was doing. So I was not live for the first minute or so. But I'm live now, luckily. And ready to talk some pro wrestling with everyone. Didn't really... Get comfortable in my chair here. Didn't really talk too much. Just talked about the opening match on Impact. Chris Sabin taking on Mustafa Ali, which these two will be going at it for the TNA X Division Championship tomorrow night at TNA's No Surrender on TNA Plus. Gonna talk more about that tomorrow maybe on Good Morning Wrestling fans probably will talk about that more and also we had Simon Gotch taking on Jack Price which was actually a pretty entertaining match and during this match we had Simon Gotch's opponent for No Surrender the walking weapon, Jason Alexander, on commentary. Gotch getting the win here. Kind of a quick match. Only three minutes. And Gotch won via submission. And after the match, he went to let go of the hold. And Alexander came in. And made the save, did two, went toe-to-toe. And the grizzled young veterans provided us with a promo. Heading into match three of their best of three series. With ABC, Ace Austin, and Chris Bay. And we had Trent Seven with Speedball Mike Bailey in his corner. Taking on Steve Macklin with the Rascals at ringside. I thought this was a pretty good match here. And then Steve Macklin getting the win in 15 minutes. And we see Eric Young taking on Big Demo. Of course, these two have some history going back to their NXT days. And we get a pretty good promo. Tasha Steeles. And she challenged Zaya Brookside once again to another match. Next week on Impact. And it is the TNA 
in-ring debut of Ash by Elegance. She gets a win against Savannah Thorne. And two minutes, easy victory, which you would expect her in-ring debut on Impact would be. And we see the system making their way to the ring. In the main event, we see the TNA world champion, former TNA world champion, sorry, Alex Shelley and Kushida taking on Kevin Knight, or teaming with Kevin Knight, sorry, I messed up on my notes here, taking on the system, the TNA world champion Moose, Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards, along with Alicia in their corner. And not a bad match here. Moose getting the win for his team by scoring the pin. And that was this week's episode of TNA Impact. I thought it was a pretty good show, which you can kind of call a go-home show since... No Surrender is tomorrow, even though it's not traditional pay-per-view. It's a premium live event, which will be available on TNA Plus, Triller Plus, and I think maybe The Zone internationally might be available there. But I just want to say that I definitely recommend everyone checking out TNA Plus, even if it's just for one month, just to see how you like it, just to see how it is. Even if you don't get the most expensive package with the pay-per-views included, and just like get the one with the monthly specials that are included in there, I'd say that that would be definitely worth it, in my opinion anyway. And now, let's go on over to Ring of Honor on Honor Club. Ian Riccoboni and Caprice Coleman are commentators for tonight. And we have Taya Valkyrie being joined with Johnny TV as she defeats Susie Love in a Ring of Honor Women's World Television Championship match. And we have Lee Johnson defeating Nico and Red Velvet defeats Sandra Moon in another tournament match. And very nice, very evil, Dan Housen defeats Brandon Cutler with Colt Cabana. The two have been teaming as of late. And it is Abaddon defeating Vixa Van, another tournament match. First round of the tournament. I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet or not. All you go. Ethan Page defeated Anthony Henry. One half of the workhorseman. And his partner J.D. Drake. Was in his partner as. In his partner. Sorry. In his corner. And Billy Starks defeated Robin Renegade. Another first round tournament match. And Commander with Alex Abrahantes defeated A.R. Fox, Exodus Prime, and Matt Seidel in a Four Corners Survival Match. And in the main event this week, Ring of Honor on Honor Club, Athena defeated Nyla Rose in a Best 2 out of 3 Falls Tables Match to retain the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. And that was this week's episode of Ring of Honor on Honor Club. A special live episode, even though the whole episode was not live on Spreaker, unfortunately. But it luckily wasn't too far into it before I finally figured out and was able to go live, so. Just in case 
anyone does want to hear the whole show, the whole podcast, you can go on the 360 Wrestling Podcast YouTube channel and watch the whole thing. It's right there. And I'm not saying I'm going to do the live stream every episode, but occasionally from time to time, every once in a while, I might decide to do a special live show like on Spreaker I used to do the special live episodes of the podcast right after the pay-per-views. But now for some reason, maybe it's just me, maybe they don't like me, but for some reason they took away the live feature on Spreaker, so you have to do the recorded podcasts only. So maybe after one of the big pay-per-views... I might go live, or maybe whenever I just feel like going live, I might go live. It all depends. Who knows? And that's all for this Thursday night episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic, episode 560. Thank you, everyone, for listening or watching if you are watching on YouTube right now. And just a reminder, in the comment section below... And now since we're on YouTube, I can point down there, comment section below. Leave your thoughts and your comments on tonight's episode of TNA Impact. Sorry, got a little distracted by Brian Danielson and Zack Sabre Jr. That is, if you're watching live, that is on New Japan Pro Wrestling on Access TV right now. Got a little distracted by that in the background. So... Once again, you can leave your thoughts and your opinions and your feedback on tonight's TNA Impact New Japan on Access TV right now, Ring of Honor on Honor Club, and also leave your predictions for this weekend's huge week of pro wrestling, whether it's TNA, No Surrender, New Japan Pro Wrestling, New Beginning in Sapporo, The Elimination Chamber, Rampage, SmackDown, Collision is back on at its regular time on Saturday night. So, definitely have a lot of pro wrestling to watch. I know some people say uh, there's too much pro wrestling to watch these days. But for me, like I always say, there's no such thing as too much pro wrestling that we can use. Sorry. We can always use too... We can always use more pro wrestling. There's no such thing as too much. And also, remember the social media. Of course, right here on YouTube. Click that thumbs up. Like it. Share. Comment. Subscribe. All the good stuff. Tell your friends, your coworkers, your enemies, your family members, your pets, anybody you know who might be a huge pro wrestling fan. Tell them about 360 Wrestling Podcast and Instagram. Yeah, even though I don't update it, but. And the newest social media from 360 Wrestling Podcasts threads so if you have a threads account or a threads page whichever it's called you can go there and follow 360 wrestling podcasts on there please and also we do have facebook but i just i don't even remember the last time i went on the facebook and updated it but it still exists. And maybe, who knows, one day I'll get back on there and update it. Maybe. Who knows. And also, just one quick thing before I wrap up. Just on Dynamite last night, I want to make a quick note. Madison Rain is fine. Took that scary bump in the match against Deanna Perrazzo. But luckily, 
she says she is doing fine. Not too serious of an injury. So that is good news. I'm sure she will definitely be taking on Timeless Tony Storm at Revolution next weekend. Also, there's some speculation about maybe Hangman Adam Page due to personal reasons. Maybe not competing in the three-way match at Revolution, but don't know that just yet for sure. But I'll talk about that more on a future episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic, hopefully. Also, this weekend, I'm going to try to do, I don't know if I should do an episode after each premium live event, each pay-per-view we have this weekend, or if I should just do one podcast at the end of the weekend talking about everything. But we'll be back tomorrow morning for the Friday episode the TGIF episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. And I also hope that you, everyone watching on YouTube right now, everyone listening on Spreaker or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, wherever 360 Wrestling Podcast is available. Hope you all will join me tomorrow morning for GMWF. But until then, I am Lance and I am a wrestling fanatic.